Now that we know how to change text in the image, let's learn how to store data and information on the visitor's browser. You can also use a tool like Bento to do a lot of this targeting, but when I was starting out, a lot of the ways that I would do it is essentially uh, use local storage to store information about the visitor and the user. To view local storage that is stored on the visitor's browser and on yours, you can just come down to the application tab in Google Chrome and you can have a look at all the keys and the values that are stored here. If I refresh the page, most of the time this is going to be empty unless some, you know, an app or a tool is adding stuff here. Um, but let's say we want to save something to this area to, so that we could reference it later. Um, all we have to do is type in local storage dot set item, give it a key, and that key might be, let's say, visited the homepage, and then we're going to say true. I'm going to give it a boolean. I'm going to hit enter. Now if I go to the application, uh, I can see that that has now been stored. Every time I refresh the page, as I'm doing right here, the local storage object will persist and be referenceable later. Um, on browsers like Safari, they get rid of it after a certain amount of days. Um, and tools like Brave will actually get rid of them after every single session. But Google Chrome and other browsers, uh, the majority of them will retain this data. Um, so keep that in mind as you're adding your implementations. A lot of them are going to be short-lived. Um, but it's helpful if you're doing things like if someone has visited the cart, show them a direct offer in the header. Um, stuff like that becomes a lot easier and simpler. Um, so that's how you set storage uh, on local storage.